The global food waste problem is an issue that affects everyone. We are wasting food at an alarming rate. The projected global population growth is estimated to greatly increase over the next few decades, reaching 10 billion by 2050, in order to prevent an increase in food insecurity is currently reaching a critical point. One of the most important steps you can take in food waste prevention is to educate yourself in food loss and waste statistics so that you can better understand the amount of food wasted and the environmental impact it brings. The numbers may surprise you. Before we go any further, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Each time that thumb turns blue, it helps YouTube to know to show this video with more people. Without any more delay, here are the top food waste statistics of the year. Number one, one third of all food produced is lost or wasted. That's around 1.3 billion tons of food costing the global economy close to $940 billion each year. Number two, the three most wasted food items on a consumer level are fruits, vegetables, and breads. Number three, global food waste has a bigger greenhouse emission footprint than the entire airline industry, global plastic production, and global oil extraction. Food waste is responsible for up to 11.8% of our global greenhouse gas emissions. Number four, total food waste at retail and consumer levels results in 173 billion cubic meters of water used to grow lost or wasted food. This represents 24% of all water used for agriculture. Number five, around 45% of the world's fruit and vegetables go to waste each year. Number six, food waste costs the average household around two and a half thousand each year. Think about how many more meals that equals up to. Number seven, Globally, there are about 1 billion tonnes a year of avoidable food wastage from production to consumer stages. This means 30 to 40 percent or more edible foods end up in landfill instead of on the plates around the world. Number eight, if everyone ate one less serving a day, a banana here, half an avocado there, we could save 10 million metric tonnes annually. Number nine, eliminating global food waste would save 4.4 million tonnes of CO2 a year the equivalent of taking one in four cars off the road. Number 10, due to the unfavorable conditions inside landfills, it takes 25 years for a full hectare of lettuce to decompose. Number 11, around 70% of all global food waste is made up of uneaten food that is perfectly edible. Number 12, 1.4 billion hectares of land is being used to grow global food products that will never be eaten each year. That stretch of land is equal to the size of India, the US and Egypt combined. Number 13, lack of education and awareness of simple things such as basic nutrition actually leads to further food waste amongst consumers. For example, many people believe that it is better to buy fresh food for quality and nutrients, but actually frozen foods maintain longer and retain more nutrients overall. Number 14, at the retail level, the top global food waste issues are a result of a lack of thorough training, faulty equipment, ineffective processes and over-ordering from distributors resulting in a food surplus. And finally, number 15, food loss and waste items account for the largest percentage of materials found within landfills, accounting for 24.1% of all municipal solid waste. In summary, these numbers show the complexity and severity of food loss and waste. Saving food is an imperative piece of creating a sustainable food future. There are many ways you can play your part in reducing food waste, including planning meals ahead of time, making sure to freeze food, making use of leftovers from previous nights, storing food items correctly, and many others. You may be surprised at how much more money you save over the course of a year when you follow these simple steps. If this sounds like something you want to learn more about, check out our free online courses here, which will help provide practical tips for food waste reduction in your own household, as well as food storage and preparation tips to help make the world a little bit greener and a little bit better. And since you've made it to the end of the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more weekly content from us. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.